Fusion bu arada. Nasıl? Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are doing well. It's been a while ever since I made an evening vlog. And even it's been a while ever since I created some kind of new recipes or fusion recipes. I love playing with ingredients and creating something new. To be honest, not everything comes out good but most of it does. And I do like to share it with you all. You all must be knowing in Kerala, Onam is a festival we all celebrate in harmony we be from any caste or any religion. It's such a beautiful festival and even very colourful. I have done a lot of logs and recipes for Onam and here back with something new. This video includes recipes that came out perfectly well. Everything was prepared on a weekend evening and weekends are days when we sit together for a meal. Banana that's ripe plantains are very common in Kerala and we do have a lot of dishes using it be it ripe or raw. Here I have used moderately ripe plantains and chopped them into small sizes. I had three used two for one snack and the rest one will be used in another. This is for the cheesy banana parses that I'll be preparing. Heat two or three tablespoons of ghee and shallow fry the banana. Another dish I'm preparing is dal kheer with fried rolls in it. For this I'm heating a pressure cooker and adding some ghee. I have washed and drained split moong dal and let this fry in ghee for 5 minutes on low flame. This will stick to the bottom of the kadai so make sure you give a mix in between. I was parallelly mixing both. When the banana is soft and you see the color has changed to a brighter shade, remove it from the kadai. Keep that aside. Cook the dal with 3 cups of water. I have added warm water. Now if you want to get that bits of dal, cook this for 2 whistles. I wanted it to be mushy and mix well with milk, so I cooked it for 4 whistles. Adding a pinch of salt to balance the kheer. While this is still warm, add 6 teaspoons sugar or even more if you want it extra sweet. This quantity was perfect. The sugar will melt in it because it's warm. Now this is done. To this goes in around half cup grated coconut. My family doesn't enjoy the flavor of cardamom in any dessert, especially kheer or Kerala snacks, so I'm skipping that. Keep that aside for a while. As I'm preparing all the recipes together, the steps are scattered. I will give the time for each step in the description so that it's easy for you to check out. The dal is mushy like how I want it. To this goes in milk. I have added 3 cups of milk. To this you can even add coconut milk. Taking the second extract and the first extract is time consuming. So I skipped and added the substitute. To this add 1.5 cup sugar and mix. Once it boils, turn off the flame and keep it aside. Now I'm frying cashews and raisins all together in ghee. I will need it in two dishes. That's the kheer and the awal or poha dish. I'll start preparing soon. Half of this will go in here. And that's done. Now this is not yet complete. The major ingredient is yet to come. So keep watching. A common snack in Kerala is Aval Vilay Chudu. Recently, I had it from a restaurant nearby that had an addition. So, thought to recreate it at home and share it with you all. For this, I'm using grated coconut and to that goes powdered jaggery. Place this on medium heat and let the jaggery melt. Now, if you're melting the jaggery in some water, then strain and add. Later, heat on medium flame till the water evaporates. 
Now add one cup poha or avil and chopped dry plantain. Mix them together. A pinch of salt to balance and a pinch of dry ginger powder. Mix well till everything is well combined. It takes almost 3 to 4 minutes of continuous mixing. I do buy Swiss brand samosa sheets and spring roll sheets most of the time because I do have kids who love such snacks. But as its owner, use this to prepare something sweet. Now let me show you how to finish off the cheesy banana parcels. Overlap one samosa sheet over the other in a cross manner, the top being in a vertical way. Now add a little bit of the banana mix in the center. Now to take this to the next level, you need to add a pinch of shredded mozzarella cheese. This gives you that addictive flavor and taste to the snack. So please do not skip adding mozzarella. Firstly, close the horizontal flaps one after the other. Use flour paste to stick and then the other flaps. And these are the parcels you will have to fry. If not, you can also make it in samosa shapes. Prepare all and keep aside. Now to what you need for the kheer, I rolled out each spring roll sheet and stuck the end with the flour paste. Make such rolls around 5 or 6 or even more depending on the quantity of kheer you have. I made a lot and these many weren't needed in fact but having this as such is a crunchy snack for an evening tea. Now chop these into smaller pieces just as shown. Keep that aside. The addition for the avil or the poha dish you will have to cut the spring roll sheets into squares or any shapes. It's okay if you don't make proper size, you can even tear into small pieces. I did the frying part towards the end as I can do all in one. First I fried the spring rolls. Fry till they are light golden brown color. These are very crunchy and light. Next, frying the pieces of spring roll sheets. Again, this has to be fried to golden brown color. These will be added to the oven mixture. Make sure you don't powder it as you need to get that pieces of sheets in this dish. Keep that aside after mixing. Now, it's time to fry the banana parcels. Again, fry these till golden brown.
time for serving. The best part of these banana parcels is that they're crunchy and light on the outside but soft and cheesy inside. You can't stop in one piece I'll tell you. And just before serving the kheer, add the fried mini rolls. As soon as you have it, it will be crunchy overall. But as it sits, it softens on the outer part but still crunchy inside for a long time. That's what I enjoyed having more than the crunchiness overall. I was looking at my family who truly enjoyed what I prepared. Nothing more is ever satisfying to see the expressions they give. I'm sure if you do try, you will enjoy having it for yourself and your family. So do give a try to these simple recipes. This is something I tried differently for Onam this time. Do share your feedback as well. That's all for today. I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.